What's up YouTube? Today we're going to be talking about the Axial SCX24 and some of the mods and upgrades that I've done to it. Some of these things are 3D printed and others you can just pick right up off of eBay. I'll be going over a list of it for you. So let's get into it. So we have the upgraded ECX Barrage high torque motor installed. We have the RC four wheel drive dirt grabbers on the front. We have the tail light upgrade mounted in the rear with a 3D printed hitch from Bang RC. We have the rock sliders from Shaka Hobbies on eBay. Go ahead and check them out. We go about for $15 and we have Shaka Hobbies as toolbox off of eBay it's 3d printed as well and they go about for $13 the part number for the barrage motor is 1365 These are 3D printed dually wheels. I picked those up off of eBay as well. Go for about $38.49. And I'll head to take some servo horns and cut them down to make some shackles in the back here to allow me to move the shocks up a little bit and away from the inside of the dually rim so they weren't rubbing and we also took these shocks apart they're still the stock shocks and we took the springs and stretched them out almost twice their length and then we compressed them and it's just a cheap way to go in the meantime while you don't have money for shocks and you just want to get a little bit more lift out of your vehicle it makes it a little more stiff but it still has enough spring rate You can see the difference in the uh, ride height just by taking your stock springs out and stretching them out and stuffing them back into the truck. It gives you another half inch of height. Also with these uh, dually rims they give you a wider stance and when you're crawling you actually have a little bit more tread to reach down to what you're crawling on to get traction down here and a, a little bit more wider track width so you can get traction up here as well. The only downside to stretching out the stock springs is that they don't function as well as as we do in um, a shock upgrade. Definitely worth getting some HR shocks or if you want to get some Charisma shocks, the MSA ones will do just fine. Uh, another way to go for shocks is the kinetic shocks and they're actually 
telescoping shock tubes and you can still use your stock shock parts to put them together and they allow you to have more travel and a lot of axle to come down further and away from the vehicle more I just want to give a shout out to Shaka Hobbies. They actually sent me the Rock Siders for free. So if you go check them out on eBay, that's where I got these from. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching my channel. Click the like button, subscribe, and stay updated on my latest content. Thank you.